welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be working on the pink sim for my Rainbow Sims Challenge series. There's only one more episode left after this video, so if you guys missed any of the previous ones, I will link the playlist on screen so you guys can go check that out. But if you just wanna see the pink sim and her tiny house, then just keep watching. So I decided to name the pink sim Penelope just because I think that's a really cute name. For her face, I just gave her some light pink eyes and eyelashes, and then I gave her a short pink hairstyle. For her everyday outfit, I gave her a pink and white striped crop top, and then I gave her these really cute high-waisted jeans that had little white hearts all over them, and they also had pink hearts on the butt pockets, and then, of course, I gave her some pink converses. For her formal outfit, I picked out this pink and white dress, and then I also gave her some white heels. And just like all of the sims that I've done so far, I kept the makeup pretty simple by just giving her some eyeshadow and lashes. For her sporty outfit, I found this really cute cropped white t-shirt with, of course, the same Nike shorts I've been using, but these ones are pink. Then she's also wearing some pink converses and a baseball cap. For her pajamas, I picked out some white leggings with some pink socks and bunny slippers. And then I was gonna go for a cropped sweatshirt, but I found this really cute pink sweater that had a cat and a cactus on it. For her party look, I decided to give this sim that outfit that has the cute sweater underneath the dress. Then I just gave her some pink converses, eyeshadow, and lashes. Like always, swimwear is super simple to pick out, so I just gave her a pink full piece bathing suit and some white sandals. Now for her warm weather outfit, I gave her a light pink tank top and of course my favorite high-waisted denim shorts. I originally picked out some platform sneakers, but I did eventually change them later to the regular pink converses that I've been giving her this entire time. Then I just put a flannel around her waist and I gave her some lashes. Last is her cold weather outfit, and for this I picked out a white sweater with some pink leggings. Then she's also wearing some pink snow boots, a white cardigan, pink gloves, and a hat. Now this time for the tiny house, I was gonna try to do something a little bit different, but I really liked the way the yellow house came out, so I'm basically making the same exact house as the yellow house, but I'm reversing everything so that it's slightly different. I think the only visual difference between this house and the yellow house is that obviously I end up making this one pink. It is a reversed layout, and also the like upstairs balcony outdoor area is a little bit different. For the inside of the house, I decided to make the walls in the bedroom and living room area a light pink and the bathroom has a pink tile. Then I ended up giving the bedroom a white carpet, the bathroom white tile, and the living and kitchen area has a light hardwood floor. Next I just added some doors and windows and then we have some pretty white stairs leading up to the outdoor balcony. So starting with the kitchen, it is basically a mirror image of the one from the yellow house, but it's flipped. 
I had to choose white cabinets because the pink ones that I had just didn't match. Like the pink paint on the walls is like a specific tone of pink and like the pink cabinets I had, it was more of like an orangey coral pink and it just didn't really go together at all. So this kitchen is mostly white with pink accents, but that's okay. Now for the living room, I originally started with this couch and rug. Um, I do end up changing it like I have in basically every video because once I start a living room, like I can't help but change my mind a million times. So the first thing I swapped out was the large pink carpet and it wasn't because I didn't like it. I think it's really cute, but it just didn't really go with the feel of the space that I was going for. Like it didn't match the style that I was going for. So I just put this kind of like plain white and gray rug underneath the fuzzy gray one that I literally always use. So I added some shelves and decorations to the walls and then I actually ended up swapping out the couch and I also made the accent wall black instead of pink to help break up the colors a little bit. I actually like this couch a lot better because I feel like the other one was just too modern and this is more like casual. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just like it better and I really like the pink pillows. For the bathroom, I added a pink shower in the corner along with a toilet and a sink on the opposite wall. And I also changed the pink tile so that instead of going halfway up the wall, it goes all the way up the wall. Now for the bedroom, I started off with a white bed and then I found the most perfect duvet cover ever. It's a gray, white, and pink cactus blanket duvet cover and it's so cute! I added two pink glass nightstands next to the bed along with the gray fuzzy carpet. I added some black and gray pillows on the bed and then I added a lamp in the corner. I actually made the back wall a black chalkboard wall and I have this really cute saying above the bed that says, good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. Across from the bed, I decided to make a desk area. So she has a cute little pink desk, a white chair with a pink cushion. She has a little pink tablet and then I just added a couple of decorations and posters on the wall. Then for the outdoor section of this house, I decided to add like a fun hot tub area, but that's gonna be it for this episode. If you guys liked it, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Bye.